when I came to Old Dominion University, the NASA budget was 2% of the entire U.S. budget. So I wound up doing a lot of research very early on in my career. That in 2015, we had a group of design kids in the mechanical and aerospace engineering department demonstrate the feasibility of extracting permafrost ice from the surface of Mars based on mechanical properties of a simulated Mars uh, regolith. Mars 2020 has a demonstration machine called MOXIE, which is the solid electrolyte oxygen separation device that I basically invented in 1978. We have about 50 ODU students who participated in this project. My hope is that the students who helped build this original prototype, the $100,000 version of a $47 million spacecraft, can take the same amount of pride in what they have contributed as had they actually been part of the $47 million project. The CubeSat project that I helped start was moving along at the point where the mechanical design was pretty much done for the ODU CubeSat. But the idea that our satellite passed all of the tests and was given a ride to the International Space Station and then deployed into its own orbit, that day was very, very exciting for me. It was an extraordinary moment for ODU. I'm very proud of the students that have worked with me. The idea that you can do things that people don't think are possible is one of my primary motivations. To me, the excitement of why I'm still doing this is exploring things that you don't know the answers to.